All right, what's going on guys? So today we are gonna do a, another video of five things I hate about my 2007 Ford Escape three liter V6. Like I said in the last video, this is not in our, any particular order, just little things I find quite annoying about this car. Um, number one on the list is this door sill right here. So I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit. So this door sill. Um, I like to get my car pretty muddy. So when I get in my car and put up my knee like this, and put my leg in the car, it usually rubs up against the side here, therefore leaving some mud on my jeans. Um, sometimes I go like this, so sometimes it gets on that side. That's why if you actually look, there's a mark here with no mud, a mark here with no mud. It's because the mud's actually on my jeans right now. So. Number one is the door sill placement, and if you get it muddy, you're getting muddy too. Okay, <clears throat> so the number two thing on my list of things I hate about my car is the power. This thing from the factory apparently makes 200 in the crank and like 180 torque. Um, it's just not enough for this car. This thing nearly weighs two tons, and on the highway, you're struggling to keep up with people. I mean, going up mount or up hills and mountains and stuff like that the car really has to work and i think they should have put a bigger powertrain or just give the engine a little bit more horsepower um that's that's a really inconvenience when i'm driving home from college back to arlington or virginia and um yeah I, it just, it's a pain in the butt driving through the mountains because of the lack of power in this car so number three on my list of things I absolutely despise on this car is the alternator. Um, they go bad so easily, they're put in a horrible spot, so um, it's just a pain to work on. I do know that every mechanic I've ever taken it to replace it just always says it's a bitch to work on because you have to drop the, you have to take out the axle, you, like it's inside the wheel well basically. It's on the other side of the lining. So. It's a total pain to work on. I don't know why Ford put it there. And I've had to replace mine four times in my ownership of this car. So I don't know what's going wrong with them. I hate them. I hate this alternator. Done, hate it, done. Okay, so number four on my list of things I despise about my car is since it is an 07, it's, it's in the, the glory days of Ford of the mid 2000s where the quality's crapping on the interiors. So, when I drive, there are so many creaks and squeaks and everything of just the interior shifting around. It's really quite annoying and it's just a pain that I wish like I could fix somehow, but literally there's no way to fix it because it's an older car and this is how they were made. So, my number four gripe about this is the interior and the creaks and squeaks and everything. The last thing I'm gonna complain about here is my number five is the uh, aftermarket for this car. Um, it's not exactly a gripe about the car itself, but if you are trying to go aftermarket for modifications or anything like that to make your car your own, um, it's just not there. The aftermarket is very, very tiny for this vehicle, and I mean, I understand why it's a it's a Ford Escape. I understand it's not meant to be a performance car or anything like that. It's not meant to be an off-road car. But it is a little disappointing when you are trying to look for parts and they're just not existent. Nobody's made parts for the Escape because it's not there. Um, so number five, and to conclude my list, is just the aftermarket for this vehicle is very, very, very slim. All right, y'all, that's gonna conclude my five things I despise about my car. Um, really, it's not too bad. Overall, I enjoy this car very much and I love this car. You guys can see that in the previous video of five things I love about my car. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, that's about it. So if you liked the video or found it helpful at all, just so you, who knows, you might be trying to buy a Ford Escape and you want to know my gripes with the car. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like the video, comment if you have any more questions and um, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.